Premier here, and I'm going to be doing a review on the Multitasker Tube. Now, this is uh, basically this is the prior version. Uh, I think you can still get these cases, but typically you don't get the case like this. Now, this is a really nice case, though. The, the case I really like because it's, I guess they call it the taco case, because that's basically what it looks like. But, now I wanted to go over the... the the actual product here but I also have a few other things in here uh, number one I've got patches from Otis and I actually also keep oil from Otis and I keep Otis cleaning base, basic cleaning kit now this and I'm gonna bring this up only briefly here you can go to um, a lot of different retailers and they can go ahead and you know, I, I was thinking of Brownells and you, know, you can go to them and you can buy just the basic kit which is you know, your your cleaning rod and uh, things like that just just the basic stuff and you pay nine dollars for it well that's nine dollars well well spent and um, I've been using I, I actually had the big kit uh, that covered basically every weapon and shotguns and 50 cal and everything else and uh, I really like the Otis it, it's a really nice cleaning system uh, also in here I have one of these little buggers here this is a a CAT a CAT M4 and this is for cleaning AR-15s so this is basically <laughs> just for cleaning AR-15s and that's what it's dedicated to now here's the tube and like I stated, this is the multitasker tube. I did a review on here uh, last year, and it was a written review on my website. So I'll put the, the link below so you can actually read through that. It's going to be probably a lot more in-depth than this is. But this is a, a really nice little setup, and it's almost like a big fat pen. You can go ahead and take this and stick it in your pocket, and that's basically all you need to take. You don't need to take the big stuff. This right here is really all you need. Now, what you do with this is, well, the... the actual tube itself you have a couple of things on here number one right in the tip here well right there is a pin pusher so you can use this to go ahead and knock out the uh, push pull pins and it works pretty good at that also if you remove the cap you'll notice that it's got the, the little clip on there for your pocket well that can also be used as a screwdriver specifically for adjusting your you know, windage knobs on your scopes so very nicely thought out there and then the rest of the tube well there's a magnetic tool attachment right here and it's your standard I believe this is one quarter inch and this is takes these little little driver bits <laughs> these ones right here and these actually came with the kit now these are really nice. I use them for everything. Uh, the thing is, these are really dedicated to the M16 or AR15 or M4. So, yeah, these are really dedicated to that series, but it'll work on anything else. Now, all you do is just you know, take out the one you want. Like, you want a, a <laughs> for some reason, you want a Phillips head. You take that Phillips head and you drop it right in there. Well, that's a magnetic driver right there. So, it, it once you place it in there and it really stays put and I really like that about that now what is normally on here right here is an AR-15 A2 sight adjustment tool this is for the front sight and that way you can just go ahead and drop this right in the front sight and take your windage up or down does not work on the A1. A1 and A2 use different uh, different front sight. A2 used a like a square front sight, and it only had the four pins. While the A1 has more of a round sight, and I believe that one right there had five pins. Um, I'd have to check my rifle, but so being able to you know quickly and easily adjust your front sight is a great big bonus. Now. You can go ahead and also unscrew the bottom and that right there reveals a scraper. Now this scraper is a phenomenal little scraper. Um, also, you know, normally you would take this and screw it together. Let me put a driver down there. 
Normally you'd have it together like this, and that way you have a little handle. Well, you can also go ahead and reverse it. So put the, the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom, basically. And what you have is a nice longer handle. And this right here is a scraper. This is very specifically designed and uh, it works extremely well. It's, it really works well with the bolt carrier and the bolt. Um, anywhere that you might possibly find any kind of crud or carbon or anything like that, you can remove it with this tool without scratching you know, the, the steel or anything like that. It, it's really nicely thought out. It's a nice design. The new version of the tube also has an O-ring seal on here. This version right here is the older version. It does not. Now, the scraper right here actually turns right off and it just screws right on or off. And we'll just remove that. And there's also includes a tool here. And this right here is a dental pick. So you can take that dental pick and you can screw it right in place. And as you can see, you can also use the dental pick is this is an, you know, the dental picks have been used on for cleaning rifles since probably World War II or earlier. And you use a dental pick to get into really tight crevices and things. Works great in the bolt carrier and bolt. Uh, you can also use this to go ahead and pull out the cotter pin. Any number of ways you can use it, you can use it. Also, you can go ahead and remove this. And remember the Otis, which does not come with the kit, but you can take the Otis. Well, the Otis screws right on this handle here. So now, you have a handle for your Otis. Makes it easier for you to go ahead and pull it through the barrel. Nice and easy. Or you can go ahead and you know, remove that. Any type of you know, Otis ends or cleaning you know, implements or anything like that, um, you can go ahead and just screw them right on there as long as it's the same thread. Now, normally I take the little uh, dental pick and I keep that in the case. And it just, you have spots in here for a, a, a number of tools if you care to carry them. Uh, I told you that I already carry the, the cable and stuff like that for the Otis cleaning kits. Uh, you can carry anything you wanted in, in here. It really fits well in, really nicely. Uh, this case is optional. Now, the actual tool, once again, I'll unscrew this. And I'll screw back on there the dental, well, not the scraper, not the dental pick, but the scraper on here. And put that on there. And then go ahead and put the bottom back on. And then take the top, place that back on. And as you can see, there you go. Ready to go. This is designed so you can just go ahead and take it, put it in your pocket, and you can go ahead and take these bits here, little driver bits, and Take those and stick them in your pocket with this and that's basically what you need at the range you don't need your big toolbox you can just go ahead and take something like this that's dedicated to working on the ar platform like i said it also works on ak's and things like that but it's dedicated to the ar platform or m16 now uh, i have two of these i have this one and i have the updated one like i said the updated one has an o-ring seal and uh, i also have all the other uh, multitaskers there's two other ones and that I've done you know, reviews on, written reviews on in the past, and I'll do video reviews on those as well. That way you get to see them and see them on video. I really like this. I use them an awful lot. Um, I use the drivers <laughs> constantly. I'm surprised they haven't worn them out. And it's nice because you can just go ahead and take the drivers and you can drop it right in the case. If, if you have the option to get the case, get the case because this really makes it a whole lot easier. And you take your tube and you stick it right in there and you can see it works out really nice. And then if you really want to go ahead and get into it, you can drop in your AR cleaning tool for the, the carrier and bolt. And then we can go ahead and take our cleaning rod section from Otis. Like I said, this is a, a cheap version of doing it. Why get the whole kit with the, the nice little case and stuff like that when you can just go ahead and take a case like this and... Take everything and place it in here and put that in there. Don't forget you're always going to go ahead and need cleaning patches and how about some weapons oil 
and uh, for the heck of it, let's go ahead and let's take this right here. This is another cleaning tool for the AR-15 or M16. This is a CRT-15 uh, from uh, Magnematic, and I did another review on this. I didn't think I even did a, a video review on it. I'm going to do another one uh, since we've got all the updated equipment and stuff like that. So you can go ahead and place that in there and Velcro it down. And let's see if it'll fit all that stuff in this little case. So that right there is all you need. That's actually more than you need. And this right here is easy to take to the range. Take this, slide it right into the range bag, and you're ready to go. If you're at the, at the range, you need to clean it. You can clean it at the range. If you get, need to go ahead and work on it, you can work on it at the range. No problem at all. Right, right there is, once again, the multitasker tube. Check it out. I'll put a link to the website as well. And like I said, you know, I've done reviews on these, written reviews in the past, and they've always been very highly recommended. And it's, that didn't change. I, I highly recommend these tools for any of the AR guys out there. They're just fantastic. Just what you need. And on that note, if you have any comments or questions, leave it below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to rate the video. I'm Weaponeer, and I'll catch you in the next one.